the bots and bodies. You want to, Moosey? Do what? You want to you want to give the shout out to the bots and bodies in chat? No, not really. <laughs> welcome to the dark table today. With yes, me, welcome to the dark table. Flash, and I got a couple hostages in the RLM one room right now. You guys want to identify yourself for the uh, authorities? <laughs> this is Moose Girl. <laughs> And this is Vinny Vision. Ah. Moose Girl Dork, I guess. Well, it's an it's an old tradition, I suppose. If you've been around, you know. Hmm. To dork it up. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we don't do the traditional uh, links every week. We don't do anything every week. It just kind of goes where right. it likes to. But okay. th- let, me do the, the let me do the hey, Grim, because... Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Stop. no, 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 before you. Grim, Grim comes first, but Nugget, no. Thank okay, you, Graham. There you let go. Let me make a suggestion. Let's, let's mix this up and we'll alternate one, two, three. <laughs> I don't care how you do it. Thank Listen, you, you Grimner. Go so, so you can say Grimner. I'll go first and Moosey second. So I'll oh, say, you want to do the bots right and bodies. She, yes, does, she, she doesn't want to do the bots and bodies. No, we're going to alternate. We're, she yes. said no. She didn't say no to alternating. Moosey, say uh. Moosey. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight on the uh, tonight, it's six o'clock out here in Denmark, so it's kind of my evening. Tonight on the RLM, the bots and bodies hanging out for your virtual entertainment are as follows. Nobody, huh? Nobody's gonna say anything (laughs) to anyone. I already said barman. It's it's Moosey's turn to say beetle. Oh, beetle. Thank you, Gribner. Moose girl, woohoo! I got Moosey. Yay! Brackets, DC. Oh, you're out of place, sir. So that's the girl's turn. What are you? The, what are you like, the king of the world or something? <laughs> <laughs> now, quit, quit messing up. Fucking rules on oh. the dark table. What are you nuts? Did you bump your head? Right. Hey, DC. Now, Vinny just likes to be, you know, the cop. He thinks he's a cop or something like. You know. I am a cop. Really? See, there you go. Yeah. Oh, he's you're always. A cop? He's always policing us in his cop way. That's not cool, dude. Why? Yes, it is. Because I bring peace and order. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay, I'll finish it. Let's go with, okay. I be Don C. Chow Sidoni. I be Don C. Java Doctor 2. Meister Brow. Poopster. Prince. Miss Kate. Rob Works. Rome's Vanna White. Vinny Vision. W4DKV. Weather Dork. Woodman. Phantom. Ant. I hen CC six six. Hey, honey circle cyborg noodle. Duh. And Siv me frumpy frumpy work. Gromit J's nines. J's Matt W J two O O two. Ponder gander. Pwn sauce. Real Donnie woo. Sock puppet. Smart ass. And the holiest Roger. Hmm. I'm going to try a dot. You know what's funny is nobody even said that I skipped over G Dread. Didn't I even see. read him. Didn't even read him. Didn't even I stop see. me. See, see, see how you guys. Wow, I guess you make better friends than enemies, though. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> We're at the dork table. Don't be so you know whatever rules and regulations and do this and in order and fuck you. We're like herding cats here, pal. What's wrong with you? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm typing the anti game. Yeah, but come on. Look what telling you how to do something or what to do about anything works. It doesn't. If you're not approached properly, you're not so nice, Vinny. Then Vinny is like a different fellow. What do you mean? I just I mean, said it. What part of it didn't you understand? What do I mean? What I mean is you're all right until you're... Till you lied to or, or uh, uh, mistreated somehow, and then you're a different person. Well, or if somebody else is being mistreated. I'm a Libra, you know, if you believe in the astrology thing, if, uh, Libra is uh, like balance. Yeah, you know what? That may be the very one thing uh, I would get involved with in, in a social situation if it went wrong, would be a, a, an attack on somebody else. That, but you know, it's not it's not likely it's gonna ever happen here. But if ever did, I, I think I'd try to split them up or break them apart or something at instinct. 
not out of desire. Because you I've never run. know what causes an argument to go to a fight. Well, I've put myself into those positions many times. What well, when I was when I was buying my ticket back home from Vegas, I was, uh, spent the night out roaming around downtown, and I heard a lady screaming, and so I ran down, and I thought it was coming from an alley, and then I realized the echo was in a parking garage. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I called nine one one, and I would have went, but. I mean, there was three areas of three floors, mm. three decks, and I had no idea where to go. Mm. My best place was right there. And, At know, least so in, a, the yeah, in an exit way so you can see what's coming and going. Well, yeah, but I'm a small guy, so I don't I don't really have a lot of violence in my past to worry about or you know, to remember for all it's worth. Most of it was in the first, like, my parents basically and a few kids at school. Yeah, and that ended when I was about 16, I suppose. Has everybody got their pre-420 uh, treats? I'm loading mine right now, pre-420. Yeah. I am ready. I, I'm snacking. <laughs> hey, we finally agree about something, and what is it? Weed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no? Okay. Dorian takes aims at four states now. Oh, Who well. Does? The hurricane. Dorian the hurricane. Gray. It's a hemicane. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, a hemicane. Yeah. Um, apparently, it's, well, Trump warned it was one of the biggest in decades, but <laughs> what does he know? As millions in Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas brace for monster storm, it's set to be a Category 5 when it reaches the East Coast on Labor Day. Excellent. So, it's a Seminole wind. My mom is going to be affected. Well, maybe not. I don't know where Tampa is. Is Tampa below Fort Myers, Sock? Is Tampa south of Fort Myers? Tampa Bay is over on the uh, Gulf. Is it right on the south tip of the? No, Tampa Bay is in the center of the state on the coast. Is it? On the west coast. Oh, okay. Coast, yeah. yeah, well, she's going to be affected then. Yeah. Kate, okay, it looks like. Well, yeah, but when they make landfall, then they move any damn where they want. So sometimes right. when they expect you to. You expect them, and they they don't hit you direct. They go left or right. Right, yeah. So who knows? Anti, he wrote out, he didn't evacuate in that big hurricane. When was it, a year or two ago? Yeah, I think a year ago, last year maybe. Well, I haven't been in a hurricane since North Carolina, so that was like 10 years ago or more. And it wasn't that bad. It did a little damage to the house, but it wasn't wasn't a a devastating storm like Andrew. yeah. There is good news about this. Uh, this storm. What? Well, we've uh, we've gone beyond the the uh, gender problem of uh, name hurricanes only women. Oh, uh, here we go with this nonsense. No, Dor- in this case, the Dorian is a man male name. Yeah, Dude. not a female. So we have right. equal rights now for men in hurricanes. <laughs> well, that's been going on for a long time, Vinny. So, <laughs> these things now, are. This important. is nothing new. <laughs> I'm just now noticing my. Uh, my rights is gender identified. Yeah, oh, okay. Wow, you really bother with shit like that? Listen, I would like to henceforth be uh, identified as uh, him a cane. <laughs> Go away, okay. Vinny. Vinny's, Vinny, you're overdoing it today. You know what? Wow. I was. I went out last night hmm. to a part of the, the mountain out here where I live. I didn't really, I ain't been all the way down that road. Uh, and I didn't realize so many people live back there. But anyways... As it turns out, I was the oldest person there. It's like, I can't believe I'm the oldest person here. And I'm looking at two guys. They're pretty close to my age. And I go, like, these guys look like my dad. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if it's just, like, you know, the way I see myself or what. It's a Vinny vision, I'm, I'm thinking, maybe. I think that most people, um, they don't see their self the way they look. They see their, their self the way they feel or think. Because some young people that are physically ill are like old people. You know? And some old people that are still moving around are like young people. I feel young. Do you? Yeah. How do you know? I don't feel my age. You don't? Prove it. No, I don't. Prove it. <laughs> I just don't feel like I am. Prove it. I don't have to prove it to anybody. <laughs> oh, come on. He's trying to prove it. Time to take over here. That's right. I'm I'm put. See, that's what I mean. Is see, society does this to us. Is 
it puts ideas in our head without us being aware that it's got a purpose before it talks. It, it's like, hmm, there can't be a plan. The government wouldn't try to hurt me. I'm an American. <laughs> There's people that believe that, and you know it. So don't don't Does that snub make you me. Feel old or younger? How does that make you feel? Nothing. Doesn't you asked me that the other night about it. how does it make me feel? Some question. Questions don't make me feel anything. They're just ideas you ask me about and I answer. But how this feeling you... shit, where'd that come from? What are you, a liberal? And did your mother tell you these things when you were a little boy? <laughs> I got you on the couch. Now. Just relax. Okay? I see that, you pervert. You know how I feel about the mental health business and uh, all that psychology, psychology but, shit. I may be a sheriff, but I'm uh, also an amateur psychologist. Yeah, you know what's, what I read the other day that uh, Mark Twain was good friends with Edison. The inventor, you know, and I, I, I don't have much faith in Edison as a person in the first place. But well, listen, I how thought, that works is, is everybody wants to, uh, you know, get get up and uh, rub shoulders with people of uh, acclaim. So, uh, well, Mark, I was I was going to compare it to me and you, okay? Because me and you socially are fucking day and night. We would not socialize in in public. Oh, sh- Bullshit. I'm telling you, we would never cross paths in, in Bullshit. our physical life. When are you going to be in Denmark? <laughs> when was the last time you were in um, Scotland? When was we the last time you were in New York or San Francisco or we Miami? Could have, we could have run into each other in Tulsa. We were both there at the same year. No, no, no. I was going towards Tulsa to hit the interstate. I could have been Probably going Probably Oklahoma from- City is where I'm I got left you, off. It's a matter of this vibrational frequency timing yeah and yeah yeah things yeah things what am i doing that happen. Mm, i don't okay. it's so, all a matter of opinion there we could, have run into each other. <sighs> we could have seen one another and not even realized it passing possibly by. yeah 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 i ran into a, a one of my classmates in a, uh in circus circus in 1971 we just finished school in California together, and our parents had, you know, made arrangements, and we we're both at the same hotel at the same time on the same night. And it was like, whoa, this is weird. Nobody's gonna believe this. I thought she was working as a clown, maybe. No, I was. I was like eleven or twelve. My folks sent me off to stay with relatives for a couple of weeks, get rid of me. Huh. See, we could have met in uh, at a circus, circus. In Las hey, Vegas. dork cakes. What's happening? Yeah, we, we could have met there as, as kids. I'd have been a much younger kid than you. Mm. But yeah, I was there. Right. Was yeah, I would say that five-year gap in age would have uh, interfered with any, you know, kind of childhood interactions in Vegas or sport. But that's just me thinking, you know. I we had friends that were always older than me. Well, they, they, what do they say? There's 6% separation by blood. So the, uh, the chances of... Uh, Running into somebody that else that speaks English in an English-speaking place are probably not as uh, as vast as they sound. Because English is the fourth most common language on the planet. What one is? English is the fourth most common language on the planet. What's the first? Uh, Chinese something. Yeah, something like that. Chinese. I don't speak it, so I don't remember exactly what the fuck it is. I just know it's something I don't speak. Now, Arabic? the second one, I forgot what the second one was, but the third third was um, Espanol. A yeah. lot more people speak Espanol than speak English. And so what would be the fourth People that right? speak English, they don't know they're the minority on the that is true. communication scale. You know? so, are you, I'm going to guess the, the fourth language would be like Hindu or something. Uh, I think the English is the fourth. I, I I read it on the internet, as so. Mm, so if it's on there, yeah. it must be true. Well, no, but I mean the numbers made sense <laughs> at the time when I read it, Moose. You know that there's so many Chinese people. Of course, that's going to be a very popular language. Yeah, but there's two types of. <laughs> but what? All the other dialects that the, there's two types of Chinese. Do a search yourself and see what you come up with, and we'll we'll just bullshit about it. 
Cantonese. But Moose brightened up when she heard me say that because most English speaking people do not realize your language is not the first language the, that the other person learned. They, they learned it extra. So you're talking because, about as first language. You're yeah. not considered back second language. It doesn't is, matter, Vinny. It, that's, the, yeah. that's the fucking Everybody point. Listen, listen, I'm going to have to pull some white privilege out on you. <laughs> yeah, English uh, is oh not Oh, my God. The... That's disgusting. Jimmy. Why? Mm. White yeah, privilege? Why? Really? You buy into yeah. that crap shit? No. I have white privilege. Don't Give you? me a fucking break. Uh, I, I'll I, use my I, white privilege anytime. I, I can give you 20% off. That's the best I can do, Moosey. <laughs> 20% off of what? He's, he's fucking around. Want, there's, want, there's, there's, no such, there's no such thing as white privilege. What there cool. is, is is get the fuck out of my way or I'll crush you privilege. And I use my white privilege everywhere I go. Yeah. Oh, uh, God. Th- there you go. He's a bully. The fact that you even think you have it is, that's the problem. <laughs> I, I don't have it. It's <laughs> upon me. I... <laughs> He so lives in pasty white, white land. Okay. Uh, no. There, oh, yeah, he does. Oh, maybe. Look around his, uh, look around his hill. Know. There, You will not find black people for a while. <laughs> right, Vin? No. Almost might, might, might not be no Mexicans in there either. <laughs> there's, a, there's a few Guatemalans, but really uh, not even a lot of Mexicans around here. There's like a little pocket of Guatemalans. Yeah, see. Yeah. Because rednecks it's share their short, land. They're, they're, they're not fussy. They're short and round-headed. You can always tell a Guatemalan. From Man, these, these fucking Danes are some maniacs. Did you know that? The Danes are crazy as fuck. You know what I don't like? What? The fact that Canadians can... I Wait, said easily. Canadians can filter can. America. Yeah, what did because you say? Canadians easily. can easily... I said easily. <laughs> filter America. Oh, I mean, they're not like Mexicans. You can know if... <laughs> my, Mexican and a Guatemalan, but hey, hey Canadian, wait a minute! I'm half Mexican. How do you know I'm half Mexican? <laughs> huh? Well, it's not by your nose. The nose. On your face. No, the nose. The I'm nose. Playing the nose on your face. There you go. So, oh how, my God, Vinny, you're just so, digging a hole there, buddy. So if I didn't bring it to your attention, how would you know that I'm I'm half Mexican then, sport? <laughs> Mister racist. Hey, gee, Uncle racist. Was, you're right. so damn lazy, boy. You won't even stretch a penny. That's why I did this. Oh no, my my uncles did that long ago. <laughs> That's how a penny, you know, copper wire got invented. They were fighting over a penny. Hey, we got three minutes. I, I have mm-hmm. my my stuff you chopped. Got three minutes? Do you? Three all. minutes for what? Four twenty. Oh, okay. we've dork tabled before here with the 420 for when Vinny comes around. I let him do that. I don't I don't oh, okay. stop him. I don't. I just don't do it myself. That's nice of you. I, well, yeah, because I just smoke. Okay. I don't give a shit what time it is. I'd be nice. I'd be nice. I'm on the clock. I'm smoking. What the fuck? Why do you got to answer to anybody about anything? What time? <sighs> See, there we go. That fucking time shit. Yeah, that's what I bitch at Circa about. I go, fuck, man. You're the only thing that gets between me and my boycotting the clock is my wow. wife. It'd if be, it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have to fuck with the clock at all. By six, so <laughs> it won't be. It won't be four twenty GMT. But uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> Use your moose wow. privilege, moose Grimnir. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have moose privilege? I will if I have to, Grimnir. Trust me, I will. What? Oh, you know, I saw a link on a thing today about a a rhinoceros. This truck was too close. A little small vehicle, but it was maybe a 1,000, 1,200-pound car. And it got too close to the rhino, and the rhino just started fucking attacking it, rolled it over, crushed whoever was in it, was taking a beating like fuck. And uh, the thing just kept pounding on it for about, I don't know, a good minute, rolling the car over with its nose. Oof. Can you imagine? No? Okay. I can't. That's You know what I do to avoid that is I stay out of fucking Africa. I don't even go to zoos. I, I watch animals that big. I watch them on the internet where it's safe. You know why? Because they roll you over when you get too close to them in the car. So, And I'd be an idiot like that. I'd want to get right up there and probably get killed doing it. So I'll settle for TV. 
Well, I'm glad that enlightened you guys. It was a big thing to me when I saw it. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> you want what? Hmm? Hmm? Uh, no, I want a hippo. Uh, I should post a link of is it what I should have did. I saw it. I think I was saw it on Mines. Maybe I'll go look for it. Wow. There's Grammy's rocket chair. Uh, her last, last, last show. Up. And we're officially counting down the seconds hmm. approaching upon the time of 420 somewhere in Vine. <laughs> I don't know. Are you ready? Are uh, you ready? I, no, I'm never ready. I'm we're always late. For, baby. Dude. All right, let's do it. Everybody get ready. Yeah, get yeah, ready. yeah, bully Vine. guy. We have the authoritarian at the helm ready? today. I'm, I'm lighted. Vinny the squirrel is Shut leading the 420 report in Buzz Bieber's place today. You know what? Buzz uh, Bieber got kicked off of Facebook. Fucking A. I, you know what? See, <laughs> I hope you get kicked the fuck off of Facebook, you dumbass. I, I, yes, I, I, I hope you get kicked off of fucking Facebook and Twitter and stop all that <laughs> stupid shit. <laughs> Boy, you need to grow up, sport. You can't fight the enemy and still be a work for him and support him. That's crazy. Have you lit your joint? Huh? I, I already smoked, did a pipe hit. Yeah, it's me and you, Moosey. He's the All right. He's the over here. Not he missed stuck. the boat. Yeah. You still got seconds to go. To still do what? Smoke. smoke. Your weed. What, what, what are you, the weed police? <laughs> Lost out. It's now <laughs> I say we. Well, you would punish. say something like that, wouldn't you? I say we punish him somehow, Moosey. What do you say? Oh yeah, there you go. No, that's yeah, fine. Punish. You the that's all right. That's... You can smoke now. You can smoke pot any time. Not cool, like me and you. See, see how these, you know, all these free thinkers just about smoking whenever. All that freedom of speech shit is just so that they can get somebody to hold you down while they. Beat you up. <laughs> They're bullies. Vinny I wish is a bully. Shut up when you're saying things. You're a bully, Vinny. You know it. <laughs> bully, bully, bully. You know it. Go on, say it. Say you're not. Yeah, my. I just did a vape hit. I just took a pipe hit. <laughs> I smoked a big fat hoodie. I found a hundred dollars today. I'm like loving it. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. I always yeah. Like I find money because oh, I, I just It's such a great feeling. Like when you find money that you forgot about, like I stashed it in the drawer of <laughs> the desk here in an envelope. Wow. I didn't find it and I open up my I, I I open up the drawer today just to look for something in there and I see like a glimpse of some money in the envelope. I'm like, what? <laughs> Pull it out, it's a hundred fucking dollars. I'm like, sweet. Maybe it was when, the dog. Do you remember? No. When it was from when I worked at my the trucking company. We oh, that's a while season, ago. And they do that, um, the board, you know, football board, uh -huh. the gambling thing, the pool. And I won oh, it. You and won I a pool. The, the envelope in the drawer and totally forgot about it. <laughs> Isn't that I'm cool? Like, winning a pool, though. What? It's cool winning a pool. Oh yeah. You're so no, hard to it, it was hit. just the first quarter, though. That, that oh, well, time, okay. but that hey, I'll take it. Hundred bucks, dude. You gambling crazy people out I know. there in Radio Land with your addictions. I know. What's wrong with you people? Don't you value a dollar? <laughs> uh, too <laughs> no, much. Value a dollar. The the insanity of this world with this fucking finance. I can't get over it. It's I, Trying to even talk to Cirque about it sometimes, even she seems to take it to a level of, of a reality because it, it's her work. But not necessarily the finance part, but all the crap that goes around it. You know, the uh, making presentations and shit that you know she does to boost an idea or whatever they got to do to uh, sell a product. Because that's right. what insurance does now. They sell shit to people. It started out, it was a brilliant idea. And if it would have stayed small, it would have worked fine. But they turned it into a for-profit business and destroyed it far as I'm concerned because you can't ever pay off the people that pay in it's like that when those um, social security things it just never seems to be enough to 
keep everybody it's, happy it's and just steal a scam. from them. It's just to keep. It's exactly what you're talking about, Flash. You're correct. It is. It, it's a scam. Yeah, but it didn't start out as a scam. The way it started out, the way I understand it, a neighborhood would maybe one house and so many would burn. So what the what the people in the neighborhood did was they put aside a fund in case amongst them all in case yeah. somebody's house has got or somebody's house got burnt down and they called it an insurance. Okay, well that I did turned into this. What we have now and what we have now. Jeez. And it's based on fiat currency, so it's as real as yep. yeah. And but see, here's the problem I have with people speaking about my personal business because <laughs> uh, I don't take any of this shit real. It's just life. I, it could end tomorrow. I could choke on a chicken sandwich and die. There's <laughs> right, right. You could walk out your freaking ha- door and get hit by a bus. Somebody, I could. The bus well, goes right. by my house several See? times a day. There you go. So freak, freaks of you know nature happen. Accidents happen. And I need a question. So I've never lived my life in blocks of years. I live it in like days. <laughs> yeah. Usually the- today. One day at a time. At, well, Dude, sometimes on your bus go round and round. No, my You're bus, a... my bus is broke down and stranded in freaking uh, Denmark. <laughs> I'm being Can held you... hostage by a Danish woman. What am I gonna do? You're <laughs> not being held hostage. It's my that's story. Crap. Don't. That's my story. Don't you tell it. <laughs> hey, can you talk when your tongue is on the window? You're there voluntarily. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all I got, man. Come Where on. is Sir? Just circle around. He is round. By no, the very- Hannah was acting up before the show, so Sir take her, took her to the beach to get her. I wish Sir would be on the radio sometimes. That would be cool. She, I know. she, did you hear her on the beginning of the damn show the other night, Vincent? No, I didn't. Oh yeah, I did a little bit. <laughs> Fuck you, RLM. I did. That's what my wife's saying because me and Vinny She's and her. Funny. We were being all mean and saying stupid shit before we went live, and I hit record, but I didn't tell anyone. <laughs> and she was the last one that spoke up. Hello, Chloe. Chloe's so here you can't come over. Nanner, nanner, nanner. Oh, I'm so concerned about shit like that, Vinny. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, I didn't get to read words on a screen. I think I'm hurt. Man, this huh? stuff. That's what did I nice. miss? Hey, it's look, good. people don't get along nose to I nose, that. I suppose. I, I seem to do pretty good with people face to face. It's this internet yeah. shit that interferes with reality. And, and you can say shit on the internet that's weird. And, Are you and a there you go. tough guy, uh, mister? Me? Are you? No, 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 no. Uh, me, I'm just a dork. How do you win? In chat battles. Well, first off, I don't believe anybody wins in a chat battle because I think it's all stupid. Loser, Loser, sir. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Hansel, tell me all about it. I I thought I already did. Oh, come on. You're You're confusing. You're doing a fine job. I'm gaslighting him now. You're doing a fine job of Hansel, Vincent. Please You're continue. Welcome. I am You're entertained. Welcome. Fiat currency is it's it's a system that's designed to fail, dude. I mean, it, it life is designed to fail. It's based on yeah. money. Yeah. It's based on thin air. Debt. I mean, it, there's no Debt. value. Debt. To it. There is Debt. value. No. It, it's an it's agreed upon. Fiat. It's a it's, it's agreed fiat. upon. If if it's the system fiat. Vincent, if the system tomorrow says there's a gold is only worth so much money, then that's what it's worth, whatever that system that dictates that shit is. So, yeah, there's all kinds of shit they tell us. Ah. People that are on the end, in the know, about what for what. There's your illusion, Vincent. They have control of the system, of this Federal Reserve note, for instance, Mm. and they're sucking off the... You know, all that profit right there. You think that's not happening with Bitcoin and all the cost of exchange and all that crap? People that set up these systems. Bitcoin, what the heck? 
I ain't even got a Bitcoin in my pocket. I mean, <laughs> you was on the street and you say, hey, mm. mister, can you spare a bit nickel for a cup of coffee? I all mean, right. All right. But Vinny, 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 right. Vinny, right. my friend Kelly that from that I knew in Scotland, when uh, Bitcoin was new, uh, if it's like 2014, somewhere in there, or maybe before that, you know, but about that 2014 period, she was buying and trading in it before 2014, but I found out about it then, and I wasn't interested in it. Just didn't seem like anything I'd really cared to to bother with one way or the other. But it did hit what at one point it hit 20 grand, 19 something something like that. But if you sell it off, you get fiat currency for your investment. So what? <laughs> you're still trapped by the same freaking thing you're trying to avoid if you play in the U.S. dollars. So where I never could figure what like, this is me, not you, not Moose, but not Grim or Rob Works or anybody else. Just me. I could never figure out where the advantage was to having a bunch of digits on a piece of paper that you could trade and trade for what you know because people lie to you and they con you and they do all these horrible sh fucking things in business and the only recourse you have is court or a gun so nah i just thought the whole thing was just ridiculous you're ridiculous okay but to me i think moose agrees with it to a point because it's based on fiat currency in its own way because they value it with the U.S. dollar. So what? Uh, let me, me tell break. you. It what was echoed in chat by Just Kudra says that uh, yeah, if it was designed to fail, you wouldn't have rich bankers. Exactly. No, no. See what we we hmm. we don't have. Up. Well, no, 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 no. What the point of all that banking shit? They're not rich either. They're just hot. They're holding the gold. There is, is no rich. There is no fucking money. It's a shared illusion. Certain amounts of people and certain families have positions of power. They pass them on to their kids. They call them uh, the kings and queens and all this kind of shit. Presidents. And yeah. It's a bunch of shit. It's just family. It's one fam you know, one group of families running everything that you can see. And they get fucking cheered on by the public. Like, you know, the public is so lame. When I was in England, I heard people tell me, oh, the royal family is so wonderful. And they're just like everybody else. And, oh, uh, you're a fucking not... <laughs> idiot. And you should have your head examined you know, with a brick. Because there's no surgery that could fix what's wrong with you. <laughs> I, uh, you know what? We've uh, really, I guess, failed to identify ourselves here. We have, uh, we have new people that's come along here. and we've got Oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's life. So. From down up. Oh, see, uh, Vinny control, uh, man. Vinny is in control today. He wants to be the boss on the the dork table where there are no rules or regulations. You do whatever you fucking why, want to do, why, why including do you... take over the show and tell everybody what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun, Vinny. Shut up. <laughs> yes, right. sir, I'm... sir. <laughs> you big baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. what do you want us to do, Vinny? What are we What are we supposed to do now in this free world that we live in? Pat your head and rub your belly. No. No. I'm drinking Say coffee. So. Say so. Hey, no, but no, really, we've got new folks along over here, and some people don't know who we are. Uh, all yeah. three of us are radio hosts here at oh. Rollerbury, uh, doing our shows together and separately. In, yes. Uh, together. Right. So tell us, uh, tell the folks, uh, tell the listening audience who you are, uh, Moose Girl. I am Moose Girl. And you started <laughs> out in uh, doing radio uh, way more than a decade ago, and you yep. had your own show, and now you're doing radio with Grimner on Friday nights here at Real Liberty Media. That's correct. Okay, tell us the name of the shows. The Freaker's Ball. Mm -hmm. And you started out with a show of what was <laughs> The Mighty Moose Girl. That's right. That and that's my why, show. And that's Mighty why. Moose Show or something like that. That's why you're known as Moose Girl. Correct. Okay. Now, Flash, somebody, he and I have been along or doing radio for a few years now, back and forth and along together and sometimes separately. 
tell us tell us all about it, Mr. Flash. Somebody, you just did, sir. Tell, tell us uh, radio history. We uh, started uh, yeah. back in the uh, World Truth days. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, the combination from there to here mm. in Real Liberty Media. We did. Uh, this is no time for rational thinking. And then after that, I started the Dork Table here with Mary Gramsci. And, and then she did the she did the dark table with me until about July of eighteen, I think. I think it was eight. Oh, yeah, it's been about a year. And she went to Varman, and now she's even passing her own show. Now the Too busy. said goodbye. Yeah. She, uh, she said us so long last night. For yeah. now, yeah, we'll have her back one day. And mm. so she goes off and the. Uh, Put her putting her about in, in the other life's activities, but uh, she'll always be here mm-hmm. in the chat in the uh, that's, IRC. That's what she threatened us with. Yes. Yep. She, she says she has a ruler to slap us if we get out of line, too. Do you think that's true? Yeah. Probably. Ouch. That would hurt. So, Chaskura, I am Vincent, uh, or the many Vs, and also Ponder Gander consistently. Ponder Gander. And I've been doing radio here for. A few years now, and before that, I was at UCY.TV, um, a, a field reporter for RealLibertyMedia.com. Actual. I even got a laminated paper. It says so. And I use it everywhere. It's like magic. It's a magic piece of paper. And it works. Doesn't it, Moosey? I think she painted <laughs> I don't think she... I don't think she cares. She doesn't give a shit what you say, sir. <laughs> so are you going to continue to control me and tell me what to do? Yes, as well, long as you... Then I'm going to interview you. Because you know what? Okay. You you got you got me real... Can I get coffee first? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks. So I, I, I'll, I'll skin Moose while you're gone. Hey, Moose, you there? I guess Moose muted or she bugged off one or the other. Yeah, oh, there you I, are. I, I'm muted for a second. Okay, what? well, Vinny, Vinny bugged off to go get some more coffee, so I was no. going to skin you alive on the RM oh, radio great. program. Yeah. Just what I need. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, what are, what are e-friends for if it ain't for e-fuckery? You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Because this, this is not to be taken all that damn seriously unless we tell you up front. No, we're doing a link about inoculations you know or we're doing a link about fucking jew banking <laughs> and if you don't like jew banking or the term jew banking then that's your problem you know where people get so you know they've been trained and conditioned to be mm-hmm. defensive for a group they don't belong to based on fucking words that don't mean nothing it's insane moose I feel like you do about it. It's like, wow, don't did, what did I miss a meeting or what? Yeah. Well, you get that same alienation from the, you know, the state crowd that I get. And I mm-hmm. mix I mix with the state crowd in Denmark, but there's certain things, even my friends that are friendly to me, they'll raise an eyebrow when I say it out loud. So I I've learned, you know, even in Denmark there's limits. Especially with the uh like cancer, because cancer is running a fuck around here right now. The old people gab it, and you can't that sucks. right. But you can't explain to the society that this is because of the food that you eat. Everybody has the ability to eat, to acquire a cancer illness, but you got to fuel it. If you don't fuel it, it doesn't it doesn't mature. It doesn't grow. I'm fueling mine right now. Right. Well, I fight mine with them. Uh, Baking soda. I learned that on the RLM. I think the other RLM, something off the internet somewhere, way down the road, a few a few days ago. And Thank you. and here we are, right? We notice certain food to stay away from because it activates and feeds your cancer cells, because that's what you have in you. And what makes them bad and destroy you is fueling them. Just like it's so common, it's it's easy to explain in those terms, but people don't accept that as an answer. They want complicated and doctors and you know chemo fucking therapy, and they don't get why it doesn't work. Well, I'm raising a whole lot of concern with this topic today on the R L and M Dark Table podcast. 
my friends. Hmm. When I get muted by both of them at the same time. Hey, wait Honestly. a minute. I could. Hey, I might. That might be my superpowers. I can make people mute. <laughs> I, was I was waiting for my permission. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking over the show. <laughs> that was great, wasn't it? Taking over the show. Well, it's how we think. It's how people behave. It's crazy, man. It's all Listen, insanity. I've, since I already said it, I've allowed myself uh, one cuss word today. And, uh, that was asshole. So, oh, are you an asshole, Vinny? Maybe. Or, or do you know an asshole, Vinny? Are you perhaps calling somebody an asshole, Vinny? What? 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 And I have an inquiring mind. I want to know. I was. I was calling you one. You didn't say it. Oh. Yeah, that. Well, see well, now. Mean to me. Yeah, but we got beyond all that name calling shit when we had a good breakdown fight, verbal, you know disagreement and that you were fighting i wasn't fighting doesn't fucking matter you were being I an had idiot my feelings hurt. <laughs> you hurt just like ryan <laughs> from the southern poverty law center hate mm -hmm. watch mm -hmm. he's well, sitting there you look know, on my face and he goes oh you know how some people go well you can't Wait. have good without bad and i say no i say that doesn't really mean what it sounds like it means i, Be, I think what it means is when when you got something that's good and something bad happens, you deal with it. You don't. It doesn't. It doesn't turn all bad because something bad happened. So that whole good bad concept, the duality, it's so uh, unbalanced in our in in the way we do shit. It's it's not worth paying attention to. Come here, bring it in, buddy. Come on. What, 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 what. No, 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 no. Keep your freaking hands off me, you you Juan Epstein fucker. <laughs> trying to molester me right here on the dark table help help you saw you you heard him do it <laughs> you know who i was thinking of the other day me and circle were reminiscing and i thought of anthrax <laughs> oh yeah oh man well because uh, uh something came up on the internet about the churches and the, the court cases and i made a comment to her about remember that guy that got you know the molested as a kid and 30 years later he's still harping on it wonder whatever happened to him <laughs> but that identity he put on himself nobody accused him of this he brought it to me who didn't want it <laughs> and oh, then and then he wouldn't about. shut up after then he'd bring it up and like you know <laughs> will you grow the fuck up <laughs> He had a demon inside of him. Well, maybe so, but Vinny, there's a time to grow up and let your, you know, your childhood memories not control you. Listen, he was reaching out to you. <laughs> no, really. Yeah, he was trying to grab me by my e-throat and squeeze all the air out of me. <laughs> right, because that would make him better. I made him angry because well, I wouldn't take his whining serious. You getting How? hugged? I know. How do you take people whining on the internet seriously? Why do you why do you want to allow your body and your brain to get sucked into that negative shit? What the fuck for? Give me a break, man. Come on. What? You, why? You why? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. You need some hugs, buddy. <laughs> I get circa. I, I get plenty. You're not getting enough. You need. I don't hurt. want e hugs. hugs. No, no. We're no, gonna no. fix you. You're sick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! What, the dog or video? Yeah, Jackson agrees. Jackson approved. Yep. Oh. Okay. So wait. Now, now it's three to one. <laughs> oh well. You can vote all you want. I'm still going to do what the fuck I please, and I defy <laughs> you, Vincent, to Love. get your redneck butt over here to Denmark and fucking come to my house and stop me from doing all these horrible things I'm well, accused I of doing. Well, like, what do you do? That's horrible, Flash. I smoke cannabis. That is not horrible. Oh, you haven't read the chat. <laughs> I have oh, a I fan have. club. Oh, I have. I I've have, seen, I've seen the, the stupid, the ignorant comments in the chat. So. There, there's a couple adults. I call them my fan club. And they're amusing <laughs> because, I mean, if you smoke dope, you know that all this stuff is all exaggerated I, bullshit. For one thing, I hate, the, I hate that nickname for it. 
Okay, so, well, I don't give a shit. Call it what call you it want. Like, Whatever. I don't personally call it that. I what? mean, I know that's a nickname for it, but I personally don't call it that. I call it weed yeah. or ganja. See or... what you started with your fucking rules, Vinny. <laughs> 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 okay, and what? Well, if you'd I don't... like to brag, just simply say cannabis. <laughs> yeah. right. Then you I sound intelligent. Cannabis. Yeah, yeah. Cannabis can. You like sound, we can. sound yeah, smarter. We, let's do a. Let's make a little ditty up. We'll we'll like okay. Broadway hit. All you, right. Yeah. Oh, cannabis can. Oh, the cannabis can, man. Cannabis like the candy man, man can. can. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of like that. Yeah. What do you think? We'll, we'll, I we mean, can, we can work on it. I'm the paraphrased plagiarist, after all. We can work on it. Okay. What? What are we working? I ain't working on anything. I'm on. You know what? I'm on a world strike. You guys with me? Oh no, you just got a job, didn't you? Oh wait a minute. Nope. Oh well, there goes my world strike. Thanks a lot, Moose. <laughs> You're welcome, dude. No hey, I need, <laughs> gotta you know, eat. Hey, see, I did what I could. It's the, it's the fucking trap that we've all been in in our whole life is you've got to produce something for the system. Yeah. And that's just the that's way it true. is. Right. There you go. Well, we, Very we true. Don't Base have member. to want to, and you don't have to like it, but you're going right. to. And no matter. Okay. And I'm just telling you that there's different layers of that you can do. And I did, right. I did something way different than you did. That's fine. But we still right. got to the same. Wow. But we got to the same end at, <laughs> at life. We both know the same shit about the system that we participate yep. in. But look at all these people out here supporting this crap. And you know what they do? Then I know, dude. They make it worse. <laughs> they fucking protest. It, I know, dude. <laughs> and until you get, okay, like, so China. let me tell you a story like, here. Yeah. Let me tell you a story. About who? A little story about these two people that I know. Mm. Okay, I have two friends, right? And one's a, one's a Republican and one's a Democrat. And when I say that... I, I, and they're they're extreme, like they're hardcore Democrat and hardcore Republican, right? Okay. Yeah. But they're freaking nuts. <laughs> and at the end of the day, they're both the same because they're on either side of the ant, a spectrum or whatever. But they're both the freaking same. Yeah, opposites of the same yeah, idea. But they're, yeah, but they're they're psycho, dude. I mean, th yeah. they're okay. They're not really psycho, but the way sometimes <laughs> yeah, yeah. they get Mentally, really emotional yeah, and yeah. when they're talking about their beliefs, like we all. do on the radio, right? Yeah, you know, I okay. understand that totally. Yeah. But at the end of the day, they're they're, they're the same person, basically. Yeah. Yep. And they, because you know, they're missing the point is my point. They are missing the point. They're miss. They're not seeing the big picture here. Well, how would you simplify seeing the big picture? How would you tell somebody else? You that? have to. You have to educate yourself. Uh, in what? You have to do research. You have to learn. Ouch. Ooh. And a lot of people don't want to take that extra step. They're happy being where they're at. They're, they're think they, they think they're making a difference. They think they're doing good. You know, I don't know, you know, but I can't talk to those either one of those people about politics, really, because they're so far that way. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think I do. That, yeah. yeah. It's just really hard. And then, like, you can try to tell them something that they might not know. And it's amazing what they don't know. Well, it would be like trying to convince me to vote is the same as trying to convince a voter not to. It's the same damn thing. It's just pointless. You're not going to get right. anywhere with either of us because we're both we're indoctrinated to believe whatever it is that runs our belief system. And you can't interfere with that. So That's the we're, thing. You we're have doomed. To, you have to, the person, it's up to the person, mm -hmm. right? That It's up to the individual, what they want to know, and what they don't want to know. And most people just get stuck. Right. They're like, okay, well, I know what I need to know. That's yeah, because that information, like, Dude, you're Mo missing the point. Moose, that, but that information is stuffed in their face from a system in the first place. Yeah. So they, I think they already know that everything there is right. to know about it. That's the problem. And there's That's nothing why more to know. So therefore they become what? Morons. Close minded. Morons. Yeah. Close minded. Repeating Meaning lies. They, they believe what they believe and they, they feel that they're right. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, yeah. They don't need. There's nothing else they need to learn or know because well, they already, you know. And how, that's called that. What happens when that happens hmm. is you your mind becomes shut. How do closed. they explain all these problems that we fucking have? If the world is being run so goddamn well, why is everybody complaining about it? And what do they complain about? Because I'm I'm over here. I don't I don't know. Okay, let me give you an example. Taxes. Okay. Everyone fucking bitches about goddamn taxes every fucking year, all the time. What's wrong with taxes? You know, no, not Texas. Taxes. (laughs) Don't mess with Texas, baby. I won't mess mess with Texas. Thank you. (laughs) <laughs> it, people bitch about it, but they don't do anything about it. No, they don't try to like, because hmm. there is nothing written in the Constitution that says that income tax should exist or has to. Right? Yeah, there is no federal income tax exactly. law. Exactly. But there is what, not. what the Admiralty Court decided to do, and you can prove this with video links on YouTube still, is the court doesn't listen to that. They won't accept the – there's no law as an argument. Right. Wait exactly. a minute. They don't accept that as – right. even though it's the what? truth. Then wait a minute. I, so how can they prosecute the you truth. on a – yeah, and there's no law. So what are they doing? How the – what's – we get – anyway – I've personally been a witness to that myself in the courtrooms and reporting in uh, the Bundy Ranch standoff trial in Vegas. And then I went to Bruce Doucette's trial in Denver. Um, there you go. Uh, you, you you get in, uh, they get a hold of you in their jurisdiction and you can't say I'm not in your jurisdiction. You got to be and, very careful what you do. In this. But you see TV right. and movies, right? You grow up with all this crap in the, you know, movies, I, I, if you're a movie buff, if you're not a movie buff, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But the movies are written in a bullshit. It's all garbage because legalese is a language. And there's even there's more to this than we're we have explained been explained. You know, we only know part of it, parts of it. But the whole thing is an association of freaking lawyers and whatever they're doing is 10 times worse than what we figured out they're doing. Right. Well, how do you avoid this? You can't avoid it because you got societies with these freaking populations of sheep that insist on enforcement. And the more you insist, it starts out with the cops. The the further you can get in in your society and get away from that kind of life where there's enforcement, things start to lighten up. The taxes might be higher, but it's not such a problem to pay them because you get something for your freaking dollar, so to speak. Well, let me uh, let me just interject here with this statement from Chuskura. Would uh, would you personally go out and help build a road or maintain a road or whatever? Sure. Right mm-hmm. down your. How far from your driveway would you go? Oh, my and driveway's what, right on the main know. street. What if other people did have the time or the ability even to uh, participate in that? Mm-hmm. Everyone's got there, something there, to, to there is, contribute. Uh, yeah. I, that'll that'll be revealed. So everybody would get together. There was no government, no street department, or no city, no state. But people would get together and say, "Well, uh, old boy over there, he can't really do anything in this, but he can throw in a tater or two mm-hmm. potato for you, uh, Yankees." Hey, well, no, this is an old. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. What? Now, what you end up? Hold up. What you end up with is what a representative form of, for better use of another word, government. government. <laughs> yeah. So it's loose, but it's there. Yeah. yeah. Street department. And I think it should be called something it. else, though. It shouldn't be called government. Get rid of that freaking word. Okay, well, right, because the definition. Change the word. Throw, throw a definition of How about government. Community? Right, but throw, a good word. I like throw, that word. Throw Maybe. a definition of what that truly means on the feed. Let people Maybe. know what you're talking about. I'll put it in the notes too. Because government is awesome. not a good thing. Ism. No. If you know what it what it truly originates as, then what we're being told is bullshit. And uh, well, what, what I was what I was getting at is uh, you're making excuses. You're saying telling it. You know what. 
saying us. We know what. Yeah. What do, do to fix it. Fix what? You can't beat it into somebody's head. Right. You can't. You can't force nobody to believe. And listen, if even when people come to realize the fraud, yeah. And one one uh, particular incident in particular, particular particular that <clears throat> did I say particular? Yeah. Twice, three times. Yes. Or five. Oh, um, five, yeah. A friend hmm. that uh, finally came to realize that 9-11 was an inside job. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Dude, I heard friends and family were all like, are you crazy? You know, and then they got to shut up because they're shamed. Shame to silence. Wow. Oh, yeah, because you got to go with the majority wherever you're at and whatever your topic is or people shun you. That's right. That's the way. Hey, fuck, that's life, man. Get used to it. We can't just say like, "Hey, this is truth," and expect uh, people to accept it, and even if they do understand it, to be able to do anything about it. It's That's the year- truth. Well, you're you're messing with a common you're messing with a common mind about a deep well subject, so don't do it. Well, what if somebody lived on the on the street and they didn't want to pay to use the road? Uh, what do you do? If they live on the street. They probably don't have a vehicle. Uh well, <laughs> yeah, okay. It's not, it's not Geneva on the lake. It's next to it. <laughs> Are we gonna have this conversation again? Which no. one? Oh, Geneva I, on the lake again? On, what? They don't. They don't. <laughs> not this subject again. <laughs> they don't live on the street. They live. Oh, uh, their property adjoins the street. Oh, okay. So yeah, I thought you were talking about a homeless person or something. Yeah, we could go to the homeless. That's, to me, that's that's what I call being homeless is living on the street. That's my like phrase for that. Hmm. Living on the street oh. is being a homeless person. Oh, okay. To me, okay. I don't. That's care. just my phrase for it. Uh, we have a lot of homeless people here. Like, ooh. um, I was at the Mouse Trap the other night, Thursday night, and I had been there the week before that, like on the weekend. I think because I missed Freaker's ball that night. And I went across the street. Oh, yeah. I I was looking across the street, and there's a storefront there with a little opening where the door is, you know? And there was, there was, it looked like crumpled up paper in there. Well, I go over there, because I seen it moving. I'm like, is there some animal or something in there? No, it was a freaking person sleeping there. Wow. I'm like, and then, so I'm there the other night, and the person's still there, or was sleeping there again. See, you know, I'm yeah. like, what the, you can't do that in the freaking winter. Wow, yeah, yeah. it's supposed to be bad for people up there. I don't know how people. Not I don't know, dude. To do. I don't know how they do it either. Yeah, but no, the person on the that lives adjacent to the street and refuses to pay, but wants to drive his uh, one-ton truck with pay for what? Knobby tires on the way. Pay for what? For the road. What do you mean? To fix it? Yeah. Or to put it in? Put it in, maintain it, fix it, all that. Well, then fuck them. How, what are you going to do? <laughs> they don't want to fucking do anything. Well, fuck them. They Would don't want to contribute. Well, fuck them. Okay, so what you'd have to do then to ensure that mm-hmm. these people do not traverse this road, you'd mm-hmm. have to hire somebody to physically go out there and stop. No, they, we'll just let them use it, but it oh. doesn't mean I have to be nice to them or friendly. I'm not, I, you know, I won't be mean to them, but I don't have to be their friend either. <laughs> so, like, rocks at them when they're driving by. <laughs> oh, nothing like that. No, but that would not be wow. pro- appropriate. Okay. So, I'll be right back. I gotta let Jack, take Jackson out here. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I'll be listening. I'm just okay. saying, Vinny, I, I just don't see people acting out in that kind of fashion where I live. I have in Copenhagen plenty of times. A lot of people acted out in, in the big city. What, but, by not for road use? Huh? What? For not to use the road? Or get no, 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 no. I'm just thinking, you know, the violence thing. I, I, I never saw violence when I was in Copenhagen, but I saw the the, uh, the components that could make it possible if people got stupid. It was let like let that. me break it down a bit. Yeah. Me, well, it's going on a story, you bitch. Okay, fine. Oh, uh, we ran off another mm-hmm. direction. I just want to try to rein it back in here. Okay? Why? What we're talking about is the word government for better lack of uh, lack of a better word well, i thought grim kind of so, solved it with his answers what, are we, doing so. here? what, what? are we doing here i mean uh at what point do you say 
hey man, you're not going to freeload. What about the guy living on the street? Does he get freeload? See, here we go with all that uh, freeload. What, what are you talking about? Freeload from what? Walking on the road or driving. Oh, the road concept. Well, see, I don't see people that way. I see them getting lost. My environment is positive. They do road work here. They do the job. They get it fucking done, and you can drive your car on the road. There's no That's potholes. There is even a bike path here that, that was really in bad shape, and they finally repaired it. But they repaired it so it could be, you know, it was flat. Could ride on it. World then. So, I mean. But I where know. I'm from, things like this would just be, you know, ignored. Then there's no money to fix that. So. What, what I'm saying is the people here would, would instantly, without being told, do whatever needed to be done. It's a s small community. It's different. They, they grew up together. They know each other. Well, I mean, I guess we could export uh, Denmark to the rest of the world. No, 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 no. That's the whole point is... We're going to have to build up the military to ensure... Your little pocket of, no, see, that's the whole point, is your little pocket of Arkansas or Grimm's pocket of New Mexico or Mary's in Kansas, for example, these people, they live in a community where people are uh, friendly because they know each other. It's not an anonymous society overcrowded with a bunch of freaking stupid, weird fucking ideas that old people will not accept. You're old. I am now. I wasn't, you know, in my day, I was the one causing all the trouble. That's why I know what I'm looking at, because I used to be the problem. Now I'm looking at the problem. Eh, you fucking punks. You're not even good at it, man. The government tried to kill us. You're, you're just a pussy. Never mind. You know, Kent State, wow, you really are out there sometimes, Vinny. Keep up with me, Vinny. I'm alone. I'm alone here on the dork table on Saturday, the 31st of August, 2019. Didn't even right mention it. that in the first place because I got Top all. The, top of the, there we go. I got all sidetracked. In the land of the Ozarks. Yeah. Don't okay. You, don't you think people, if, if they were nose to nose, all this, you know, the car that won't pay aside, when you're face to face with other people, it is a whole lot harder to be an argumentative cunt when, <laughs> when things need to be done. People in person don't fuck around with the idiot that wants to sit on his ass. They go, go fucking yep. sit on your ass. So what? Right, and then just get it done. One out of ten of us is going to fucking take that easy way out. That's just life. So what? The other nine will do it. It's a, it's yep. a numbers game, Vincent. And I think Moose would probably be more familiar with that with her uh, work history. Right? Because you deal oh, with yeah. numbers. Yeah, you know about how you do this a certain amount of times and this result, you're going to get it back. You just don't know who's going to give you which result until you apply the whatever it is. Question. You know, it's like if you went up to 10 women in a bar, I'll give you the fucking nastiest example I can use. And <laughs> if you ask all... You start with number one, you want to fuck, and you just keep going until you, you know, till you hit ten. If you hit ten, you're something wrong with you. Because <laughs> numbers don't lie. And nine out of ten of us are basically statists. And there's one free person out of about ten that just a little bent. You know what I mean? They're not quite, they don't quite fit in this box just proper. You know, and you get people like Vinny always reminding you that, hey! I'm in charge here, and this is what you're going to do. <laughs> this is how much it's going to cost, and blah, 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 blah. But you know what I found out? Tomatoes don't charge you for growing. They just <laughs> grow <laughs> if you plant them. Never mind. I guess it's too far out there for the modern mind to accept at this time. Uh, I'm back from retrieving a fish. Oh, I was ranting about some uh, nonsense now that you're back I sir was, i was listening were you i wasn't <laughs> <laughs> i just smoked my pipe I'll be back. I need coffee. Oh, good go, get one for go, me go, too go, go moosey wait i'm gonna look <laughs> up this. what uh yeah wait a minute back up figures yeah. lie yeah not in you the think data, figures but... lie i don't i think nine out of ten of us are status and the one percent that aren't 
out of that group, still, some of those people are still on a fence. And it's hard to commit to this freedom of thinking thing that we have. Because not everybody does it. I don't think so. Well, this one says figures don't lie, but I think they do lie. <laughs> well, you're a, you're like that, though. You're a, uh, you always point your finger at somebody accusing them of something. Judge Vincent. I am. Mark Twain said there are three kinds of lies. Mm. Lies, mm. damn lies, and statistics. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Interesting quote. You believe that? Yeah. Why? Because Mark Twain said. Well, what if it's bullshit? Mark Twain wouldn't lie. Sure he would. Uh, Everybody fucking lies, you bonehead. Oh, come on. You know, I could get into an argument with Cirque if, if I just push her far enough about the earth, the round thing. It's amazing. I don't mean to, but I, I catch myself once in a while just seeing how far I can, you know, bring it up and what I can get away with saying because she comes from that reality. Well, I got an alarm going off here in the background. It'll go out in a minute. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I'm, my, I'm mute. He's muted. So I'm adding some quote here. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it a double maybe, or should I? That wasn't me, Matt. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, Jackson came running <laughs> in with a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> that was an alarm in in that room somewhere. No, but Vinny whistled. Oh, Vinny whistled. Did he? Yeah. Mm. Give a little whistle. Uh oh. See, oh, no, he'll come. Mental. He'll come running again. Mental. Hey, wants to know why do hot dogs come in packs of 10 and buns in packs of 8 and the answer to your question is because the fucking public is too ignorant to group <laughs> together and stop them from abusing them with packs of 10 and packs of 8 that's why it's an abuse you can't buy an even number so you, you got it what you have to buy what 80, 80 of each <laughs> <laughs> to come out with a proper, you know, amount of no, you can't. It's never going to freaking work. So you, and they do that on purpose, just like with everything else. You know, what my favorite one is what? no oil. What oil? Oil. Oil. Earl. Oil. Oh, you know why? Oh, yeah. You know why? Why? Because Henry. Ford's first car was designed to run on hemp. Yep. Yeah. That, sir. And he built a fucking car from bumper to bumper out of hemp that ran on hemp on top of it in 1943. Okay? So, the world's known. All these things that we do today, like paying for oil when we could use water, is just because nobody says no. We're, we're somehow, we're tied to this freaking thing, and you can't, if you protest it, they'll just stop you from having any. They'll shut you the fuck up. Are you guys ready for this? No. What? What I'm is fixing, this? I'm fixing to make uh, RLM history. Uh-oh. Are, are you going to put your pants on live on the radio? There it is. There from oh, he's posting. Hey. And should I announce this one here? I added two together. Yes, please. Three, two, three. Say it. Yes. Add quote. Figures. Lie and liars figure. There are three kinds of lies. Lies, damn lies, and statistics. Mark Twain. What do you think like of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we pick up some pretty good names. So like the other day we did Jules Verne, the writer. And Jules. Yeah. And, but over the time that we've done radio, we've brought up a, quite a few topics. What What was your favorite? I got a favorite. Do you? Out of all the things we've ever talked about on the radio, I got one that just always brings, it comes to the top as favorite. Okay. What is it? We did a show about pot and the way that they, uh, they uh, prosecute the wrong strain of cannabis in a courtroom. Oh yeah, and you know what? I can't remember that name. That the uh, that there's the uh, see there's can there's cannabis indica and, and sat sativa. sativa. Yeah, but there's another name yeah, in there yeah. that is 
specific and it's different than those uh -huh. that it, um, well, and, I, yeah i i i know hal has spoke about it too mm -hmm. he it, but i can't remember where to retrieve it in the archive uh -huh. for, uh, for that strain name well maybe there's a trick that grimner might know on how to uh, refresh your memory to retrieve something you well, could narrow it down to a specific time of year or something and then figure it's in a certain amount of shows. Do it like that. Yeah. Because you got all those fucking notes that you wrote on, so it's got to be you know pretty specific because that's that's a topic you can go on for. But and we did a dork no, table. We did a dork table, and we did a big part of it was that topic. And yeah, but I don't yeah. remember when it was. It was. It's been. Maybe, maybe a year. Years. I think it was after Mary after Mary left. I think it was about a year ago because before that I was doing the dork table with Mary. So you came on after that. Well, well that show was then uh, mm -hmm. after Hal had spoke about it and uh, after I had made uh, given notice about it. And I can't recall where that was. Then let's show. do a new one specifically. Maybe we'll do it on Tuesday. Maybe we'll, we should plan to go on, go on Tuesday and do an up to date. Hold on. Well, I'm not ready for that. Uh, oh, you and your pre preparations. Be, hold on. Hmm. This, can you read that word right there? No. Root around. No. Root around. Maybe that's the name, or is that the hemp? Is that uh, Ruderalis? Is that hemp? Ruderal. We need, we need uh, actual. I don't uh, remember. Well, the point of the whole thing is that the, the state prosecutes the wrong strain of cannabis. You don't remember. have, you don't We're have. Word. Okay, but. For the, all right, well, look for the fucking word. I get the point, but no, the, I, the I argument don't. is so much more interesting to me, Mister, Mister Control Freak, telling me what to talk about on door table. Actually, I'm trying to help you here. Now, I'm gonna get Bullwinkle to kick your ass. I, I need your help to help me. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I I think that we should just you know this is the dork table, and we just yes, pass around, we pass ideas around, and play around, and have a good time. But Maybe I think during the week. Perfect. During the week, I'm going to do a show particularly on this topic. If I got to do the research myself, Vinny, I don't care. It's not It's not going to take me four different places. There's Fine. only one answer. <laughs> is, that the, is that the one? Oh, that's a wild weed. Uh, well, is a wild I think, weed. I don't Cannabis ruderalis. I don't know. I'm not, that, I'm not that familiar with the legal let jargon me, or the Latin. Or let let me have a minute. <laughs> let me but, have a minute. Yeah. Try to articulate this then. Oh, okay. Well, you go ahead. All right. So there is a specific strain of cannabis that was listed in the, um, wherever it is in the codes or statutes or somewhere in the federal uh, laws or legal, that is, that uh, was specific to the type and strain of cannabis is that the, which is illegal. So I've not been able to... Uh, remember that word that strain and where it was uh, it came from but it came from a legal source hal anthony spoke on it uh after i uh presented it uh, wherever i did and so if grimner knows how to find that or if he recalls or in Hal, if you're listening downstream somewhere well and the, the sad part to me Vinny, is that it even knowing this does not help anybody with anything because Yes, the would. the mainstream is still stuck on legalizing in the first place. Instead of it, instead of us just accepting that the hey the government should come forward and say we lied, we made the whole thing up. It's in print. I can I can do a show on that too. Anslinger uh, made a big deal about this uh, fan, this hatchet killer in Florida as a as a physical way besides the smoking a joint and it turned him into a bat story there's the the axe killer that he heard about right and there was never any proof that the guy smoked any cannabis but he killed his family with an axe anslinger claimed it was because he was on cannabis he has all these doctors and crap to back him up in his lie and the next thing you know congress is making it illegal to smoke pot and there's never been any proof that it was bad for anybody. But <laughs> instead of the apology for lying and just moving forward, they're going to keep it. They're going to keep it on the legal things so that they can make money off us. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm against. Treat it like a fucking carrot. If you want to do commerce, do commerce. But treat the fucking thing like a carrot or a tomato instead of this legal shit. 
It's fucking stupid. I have spoken. There you go. What? I don't hear a lot of people disagreeing with me here, Edith. You know what I mean? So I guess I'm on the right track in this crew. <laughs> what do you say, Moose? Do you got a different opinion? Uh oh. No, I, I locked different. her in, sir. Um, sorry, dear. No. I hear circle. Uh huh. Yeah, I locked the dog in here with me. Out, hey, Circle. Out of the, hey, Circle. The louder you say it, the louder I hear it. No, <laughs> I know we all do that. I do it on the radio all the time. <laughs> I like to make fun of uh, the people that let me just do whatever I want to do on the stork table. Be myself for a couple of hours, no matter what, you know. And still, at the end of the damn thing, we're, we're still friends. I, I'm, I'm going to always miss Mary joining me on the dork table. Because she made me always funny. Some of this stuff we yeah. came up with. My, well, it's the balance. You know, you put me with Mary and it's funny. You put me and Vinny together and it's different. It's not yeah. it's not the same thing. But, well, there you go. Yeah, I got Mary on my mind because she quit radio last night. And well, no, not really. You have, I mean, kind of. Yeah, she's taking a hiatus. Oh, yeah. She got all emotional. It's so weird. Because she's such a tough woman, you know. She's always been so tough, facing life and being a farmer and working at a car dealership with a bunch of guy mechanics and being, you know, being out there. And, and then she she was all weepy about having to leave. Yeah. Must be too busy on the farm for doing this here radio stuff for a little bit. But uh, she does want to get some time in with her family. She's one of those, like, sir, tied to the family. Me, not so much. I'm more like an orphan with a piece of paper. Okay, well, that's nice. Anybody else? What's the wackiest thing you ever did in a restaurant at four in the morning? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, I had a... Uh, uh, let's see I, was, I was trying to eat a BLT on mushrooms one night, and then I couldn't stop laughing. Because he couldn't pick it pick it up off the plate, and it was just insane. To me, not to anybody else, except they thought I was insane, because I was obviously fighting with a BLT. <laughs> Somehow, you know, there was a lack of communication going on. Yeah. Yeah, well, people were nice in the 70s, though. You know, you could be whacked out of your mind, and as long as you didn't do anything to hurt anyone... They just tell you the story about, yeah, you came in here last night and you were cracking up with the girl over there. And you couldn't seem to pick up your sandwich for some reason, so we just kept people fr as far away from you as we could. <laughs> but it was like 4.30 in the morning when we went in anyway, so it's not like you're bothering anyone. Right. That's my big, that's, that's the favorite one I've got out of. See, it's what I mean. All this, all these stories, people, they exaggerate shit about what they did when they did certain drugs because there's really nothing exciting outside of that went along with that shroom. Just ha being in the restaurant look, and not being in physical control enough to just eat a sandwich <laughs> like a normal person. I was doing some ninja fighting on acid in uh, Freedom Whoa. Las Vegas one time. Wow. Ninja man. Yeah, how, how long ago? Uh, back when I was like 20 something, I think it was 19. Yeah. Jeez. Ouch. You're crazy. Yeah, he's cr he was crazier when he was young than he is now. Sounds like it. Well, you, you just know him a little. Just you know. kidding, Vinny. <laughs> no, he d he does. He's poor Vinny. He's he's so tied to the state. The state. He'll never let go of the state. It's you insane. Know what? What? You gotta look at it like this. What? It's not whether you let go; it's whether or not it lets go of you, or whether you escape its grasp and reach. And that's the idea that how give you how to avoid that uh, encompassing grace of the state. Uh well, what if you don't have that feeling toward it? It's not like feelings. Me, I feelings don't care. Really don't matter. Feelings are like opinions. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, so well, well, you said feelings, and uh, now you're gonna change it on me. 
Stop messing around, Vinny. Tell me one story. Hey, Uncle Vinny, tell us yeah. about the time you were the captain of that uh, septic tanker off the coast of Bolivia. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, I like, do a radio say, podcast. Nobody listens to nothing I say. It's amazing. Listen, <laughs> I like this. I no, I'm I'm going with you on that one. There you oh, go. Oh, okay. You are. How do you like it? Okay. Arg. You like it? The embrace. Yeah. Of the the embrace think? of okay, the state. Okay, here, here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is from uh, 2018, but that's okay. Well, hey, it's from Bill Billund, Denmark. Uh, is yeah, that where but, they make Legos? I. All right, Legos are made here in Denmark, right, oh. sir? Yeah, what city? Billund. Say it, say it so they can hear you on the radio. Billund. There you go. Billund. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's how you say it in Danish. All Better. right. In proper so, freaking. That's why I can't learn that language, man. I'd be thinking, what the hell am I? No, stop. It hurts. Man. All right, so uh, apparently mm-hmm. they've introduced a new and improved uh, interlocking plastic plastic brick that will instantly kill you when you step on them wait what who uh? <laughs> i'm just kidding it's no. from the babylon b <laughs> oh okay wow it's just a satire <laughs> yes wow it's, it's satire <laughs> well because i read a link on on a show about uh the medical people have made cr- critical thinking and mental illness yes i saw that that's dangerous shit you people yeah, gotta realize if you piss somebody off that you know, and they're not friendly with you, the things that you can do to each other. <laughs> right. Wow. What, you live scary. in a torture chamber. What the fuck? Oy. I'm telling you, the way the uh, the authorities handle people calling in around what I've heard here is take a picture and, and send it to us. Yeah. And, and we'll investigate it, which means go away, oh, I am busy, oh. Because what they call about is, doesn't have any value. Our, the society I'm in doesn't value that threat of, oh, it's because it's commerce. See? And they don't want to pay for that kind of crap, so they don't. To save money, they don't have police. And it actually seems to work better to just let the people deal with each other than it does to have outsiders, you know, making enemies out of two friends that had a bar fight because they were drinking. And, uh, you know, the cops make it worse by putting you in jail and you got to pay money and doctor bills and all that kind of crap for whatever you might have broke. So avoiding all that crap is it's looked down upon. You're a sissy if you don't want to fat. Now, I say, you're a fucking idiot if you want to, but, you know, that's up to you. There you go. And I come from this, you know, the gun land and the tough land where everybody wants to take on the world. And me, fuck no. Huh? Played with guns. When I was a teenager, mostly. Teenager, early 20s, but I gave it up. Didn't your mama tell you, don't don't always be a good boy, son, don't never play around with guns? No, Uh uh-uh. Don't take your guns to town, son. No, none of that shit. I didn't grow up in the country, boy. I grew up in the city. So it was a way different kind of deal there. Mine was, my dad told me, uh, keep your fucking hands off the guns. There you go. Did you ever shoot a man in Reno just to watch it die? Uh, no, See, but I, I think wanted to. start a band, dude. <laughs> start a Country band. Western band. Oh, yeah. I, hey, oh, I was going to say earlier, did uh, you see who I was yesterday? No. Vinny Vibrato. Oh, nice. It was upgraded oh. to Vinny Vibrator. <laughs> yeah, there's a smart Aleck learned- on the RLM. He, he's learned- real funny. <laughs> Take and clasp your hands in front of you. And then- Uh-oh. Yeah, very good. Say it again. Red alert. Red alert. <laughs> Just do a lot. La, <laughs> See, shake Come your on. hands and put them, clasp them, and put in front of you. This is how you. This is one lesson to learn vibrato. Say, say, uh, and you, your voice, your vocal cords will eventually keep practicing these different methods, and you can learn to sing vibrato. I don't want to. 
Can yeah. I can I get a big old ah uh, from you? Ah. Uh, no. no. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Miss oh, Vinny has You're lost his mind. Vinny. <laughs> oh. Uh. I, 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 <laughs> you, you feel vibratoed? A heavy weight. Well, like you too can be vibratoed right here on reallibertymedia.com. A heavy weight. Yeah, too. I don't know where else, any other show out there that, that could happen. To fix you, <laughs> Mr. Vincent. Only the show. Oh, wait, I've got to read this from Grimm. <laughs> Release the state from your brain. Step one. Not an easy step when referring to things done by the government that claims rulership over the land you live in. For example, when the U.S. bombs some country, don't say, we bombed X, say, they bombed X. <laughs> or, when they're extorting money from you, don't say, I'm going to pay my taxes, say, I'm going to pay their taxes to avoid having uh, something terrible done to me. <laughs> It's not a matter of opinion or how you feel about it. <laughs> it is that, so a matter of opinion. Because it's, it matters how you're going to feel after they get done with tuning you up. Maybe so, but it that might not be in vibrato. That's not the, that's not what I hear in where I live. I hear something different. Can you say that in vibrato, please? No. Just listen, clap, sh clasp your hands, clasp your little hands. Hey, clap, stop trying to tell me what to do, man. All right, I, what, I'm going to give you a whole lot of lumps. What to do? Right on, the, right on your head. Anyway. How'd you like that one? Uh, I don't know, Mr. Peebles. What do you think? <laughs> I think we missed 420 by five minutes. I don't care. I never miss 420. I don't give a shit what time it is. Where? Where you and your rules and your times and your limits and your gauges and your gazmachis. Sometimes, Vinny, I worry about you. Thank you. No, if you didn't live in the country, you'd be dangerous to <laughs> telling you, boss. I get out sometimes. When was the last time you was in New York City? Uh, <laughs> would have been about year 2001, probably. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was long gone out of there by then. Okay. I went uh, I went mm. through, I saw the tower standing, and I came mm. back and saw that they were no longer there. Uh, I delivered to the tower in 86 when I lived there. Got a job as a delivery guy for a period. You know, that was one of the jobs. I and it was huge, job. too, man. Fuck. Well, you, when you, but when you think back on the piece of property those buildings were on, it's so big. Yeah. And they made it look so small with TV over years of seeing that b building drop from that distance and all that. It it made it small in a way compared to actually physically seeing it with your own eyes, I think. What's the name of that song, Grimmer? It's something, da, da, something Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Tree Grows in Brooklyn. No, no I don't know. I'm not Grimner either, so hey. I heard you, mister. You forget you're on the dark table. Ha, 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 ha. What do you expect's going to happen? You're going to come on here and talk to yourself? Hmm? Maybe. Do you want to? You know what we call people that want to just talk to their self, don't you? Talk to yourself, people? Narcissistic pricks of the third persuasion. Yep. Mm, who are you talking to? I don't know. Narcissistic pricks that talk to their self, I guess. Like, <laughs> you know what? I I've done a lot of radio solo, but I prefer to do it with other people. So, but I get called a narcissist all the time because I've How done so much radio. <laughs> Wait a minute. That, <laughs> it, that, that I think awesome? I think that there's a shortage of people. They got lots of opinion, and they got very little. Uh, in the behind the fucking mouth and proving it department. <laughs> you know, it's easy to criticize when you just type it in a keyboard, but it's another thing to do this radio shit. You guys disagree with that? I eh? disagree eh? with today. Mm. Da, da, yeah, I don't know. Uh, 
Mm. Lights out, Brooklyn. No time in Brooklyn or something like that. I didn't. I can't even. Grab wow. It. Vinny's on a uh, Vinny's on a quest. He's like going like it's like what? Yeah, you're yeah. you're like on a quest with the ring to Mordor. You're Mordor. it's impossible to get through to you at this point. Less door is Mordor. We've lost complete Mordor. communication oh. with Vinny. He's gone. <laughs> Earth to yeah. Vinny. Earth to Vinny. Come oh. in, Vinny. <laughs> Hey, how, how about we all sing bro, vibrato? No, no not if we do don't. You and your No, what? dude. I'm not good at that. <laughs> yeah, but it would be funny as fuck, wouldn't no, it? No, it would not. <laughs> it would be embarrassing. Ah, don't say that. <laughs> how can we be in a... We, we wouldn't be laughing at you. We'd be laughing about you. <laughs> That's not right. the same thing. It's different. Oh, no. yes uh, it is. <clears throat> okay, so what song were we singing? None. But... <laughs> Don't make me go get Hank, Hank Kissinger to put you in your place, Mr. Scumbag. Hey, Vinny. Yeah, hey, 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 shut up. Are you a, are you an anarchist scum or are you a statist? Hmm? You know what? I Pick a side, boy. I'm talking to you, son. I specifically have a uh, such as, uh, let me go get it for you. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Pick a side. Oh. I give you an ultimatum and you go, let me go, let me go research this. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have, I have made public statement to <laughs> oh, this. Oh, okay. And, and you... it just has to show up in my memory. So I'm ah. going to go back so I can vote it. I mean, vote it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <man. laughs> yeah. I will quote the vote, sir. Papa Chubby has an album called Brooklyn Basement Blues. Thank you. Oh, I hear it is. Okay. Are you ready? Thanks, Grim. This uh, comes from August the 31st of 2014 from Vincent Easley II. And PC means politically correct, just so you'll know. And ARK means Arkansas. So there's an Arkansas dog, a barkologist. The PC way to call someone from Arkansas is to say Arkansan. I hate that word. Personally, I call myself an Arky, uh, born in Oklahoma. Live free wherever you be. This was the promotion for the uh, Nathan Frazier broadcast of Live Free FM. And it is a picture of uh, buttons on the, uh, on the keyboard. One is the, the control button with the hat on. And the other one is escape, and it says anarchy. So I say I'm an anarchist. I might. <laughs> Does that answer your question, Flash? I don't. I don't really know. It was so long. Couldn't you no. just answer the question with one or the other instead of? Well, I'm, an I'm slow today. I'm an <laughs> anarchist. Uh, so you don't stand on either side. Uh, of of either coin, you you've got you take what you like from either, right? Well, Grimner might describe it as a minarchist, but right. But well, isn't I that think, picking and choosing? Law, I believe peace is settled in the law, and that uh, hmm. it is important to have law. It's hmm. lost hmm. lost in the legalism. Hmm. Yeah, because we all have that insider guy that knows you're doing something right or you're doing something wrong. So, it, you know, if I think it's the way we're taught and how we develop that creates this fucking weird shit we do to each other. I think it's done on purpose and fueled by the freaking crap we eat. And then once you get away from all that to some level, some do, some degree of free of the city, then you start really noticing the difference. And if you're stuck in a city, I was I loved the city when I lived in it. Vinny. <laughs> Damn, I didn't think there was anything better than the city. And as I grew and aged, I, my taste changed, I suppose. So, but I've got, I even though I'm like anarchist-minded, I still abide by whatever rules are uh, expected from the surroundings wherever I'm at. Because the, the territory has changed a few times in my life, you know. I, I've lived in places for years where I wasn't a citizen. So, you know. You you have to adapt to their their ways in their land, or you're being a fucking idiot. Wouldn't fantasy land just be much simpler? Just True, but not. Your own mind. 
There's not enough room in California for all of us. So you got to live. You got to live somewhere real. And, what's your favorite state to be in? Uh, confusion. No, I I don't never get I'm confused, Moose. <laughs> no, that was actually the answer I was looking. For. I, I would never. I would never consider myself confused about anything. I make up well, my mind about what it is. Right. It doesn't right. tell me what it is. There, then you nine, toss it the other side of the coin. But it's Vincent, ninety-nine percent of what you hear from other people is right. bullshit. So start there, right. and just get the one percent that's worth noticing. That's the easy way out. That's some people, no rumors. well, now some people require uh, Not real. communication to get the other side, Not but they don't know when to quit. That's you know that's what I I've learned. I think my friend Hans taught me that. That when people stagnate in life and they don't ever evolve into anything else, they're still the same three years later. That if that bores you, then stop stop talking to them, because they're not going to change. So I don't put much stock in other people doing anything anyway. But the way I see you is kind of like really me seeing me this it, there's a lot in hands that I, I don't want to do i'm capable of being that way but to do those things in the public i live in would be social suicide like if there's a, a hockey team that the locals are against and i come in wearing their freaking colors in their bar i'm asking for fucking trouble because that's you know what these cities are like these small cities it's the same in the states don't you've been you guys are both bar drinkers you've been to sports bars where if you're not on the city's team that the the sit that bar is in you might get yourself into a little argument or rivalry or competition of some kind or another and some kind sometimes we people can get, bars take it in America like they do in, in jolly old how do you mean i mean you don't see uh bar fights because of the soccer game are right, you man i th- when I was in the States in California after a Dodger game, uh, some guy with his kids was taunting the losing team, and the two guys beat the shit out of him and put him in a coma in front of his kids in Dodger oh, Stadium cool. parking lot. Mass riding fighting. Yeah, but, but I'm just saying, this is how seriously oh, these people yeah, take right. freaking sports, <laughs> Vincent. You're looking at oh, it's my nice there, man. buddy. Huh? What you nice looking there, at? Dog, dog got up on my gal up over here and thing. <laughs> <laughs> slap you in your mouth huh promise What's you promise on? hey this man annoying you you come on over here no. to, you come uh, on over here to denmark land Vinny, and we'll we'll go down the bar and talk about it oh i put the wrong in i want i no don't i no longer identify as a clintonian but a mm. ian so you're a anarchist scum with a side of state yeah, I guess we all are in the reality of it, but in your mind, I mean, do you, do you support? But you support the state where I don't. I I wish the state was not there. I did it again. It's not one three five. You know, it's three. It, you got to remember this too. I was traveling against the you know the parental consent when I was really young, crossing state borders. So my, my the way that I see the world. In, One is not well, it's not the indoctrinated kid went to school and knows all that shit that they teach you at school. I dodged all that <laughs> and I got a whole nother upbringing because I don't know because I wouldn't fucking listen to the state tell me what to do <laughs> kept fucking off tell them leave me alone they locked me up and took me until I was just before I turned 14 was the final lesson I took off one last summer. I forgot about, you know, it's, I'm going to be 60, so it, it, the years kind of, they get vague at a certain point. But I nailed it down. In 1973 was the last uh, teenage problems I had with the system. So I think I did pretty good, considering And then, unlike you, you went to school, didn't you? Who? Me? Whoever's listening, I don't fucking know. You guys come uh, on. <laughs> Tell I, me I, something. 
I consider myself as a having an eighth grade education publicly. Moose, did you go to school and finish? What? Did you so go to whatever school? I don't fucking know. Yes, of course I did. I didn't. Did you, Vince? Okay. I got a uh, She wasn't even listening GD. to it. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, hey, I did all that crap, too. So what? Ludatorian in my uh, GED graduating no. class. That's good. You went a class. Wow, they had this. Uh, yeah, it was school a had a thing on the weekends where you could just take the test at this building. And that's what I did. Yeah. But yeah, I did it because oh, I was okay. in. I was where I was living. I was accountable for my uh, proof, and I was at the right age too. So, if I'd have been in another state, I would have just lied about it and said, "Yeah, I got. Yeah, I got a high school." This is where I went to high school. And by the time they check on it. A diploma? Have you ever had to show your diploma? No. That's uh, what no. I mean. But if I was in, yeah, if I was in, uh, yeah, in L.A., they, they this place wanted me to provide because I had a local address. So it was the one time in my life that they wanted to see the proof. What proof? Of provide a fucking, them. of an education, Vincent, that I didn't have because <laughs> I was fucking lying about having one. They asked to see your diploma. Yes, they wanted fucking proof because I lived in the fucking city that we were in. That's anywhere weird. That's else, weird. anywhere else, I this is ha- my experience. What can I tell you? I was young. Just saying. Okay, well, when you're 16 in 1975, a lot of people don't want to hire you in the first place. It was a different world back then. <laughs> I couldn't, you know, I couldn't convince everybody. Oh, sorry, I, I was. was I couldn't convince everybody on first instinct that I was 18 when I was 15. Some people were easy and some people knew better. And I ran into somebody that caught me fucking not being who I said I was. But what they wanted then was... Uh, prove it. Yeah, prove because that I was full of shit. Yeah. They didn't really want to see your... They knew I was 15 and not 18, so I got called out. Show me the paper. But no, I worked wanted- at another place that believed I was 18, so... It, it balances out, but there you go. Yeah, they didn't want to see your diploma because they didn't, because they wanted to know that you finished high school. Yeah, they, because they I was 15 years old crazy. and lying about it. Oh, babe, how difficult is this for you? Hasn't a young kid problem. ever lied to you about how old they are to try to get somewhere? Good Slow Lord. down, Bucky. Well, oh, you're yeah. making it complicated, Vince. You know it. We used to get beer. We used to go to the one liquor store. We knew we could get the cheap beer, and then they'd sell it to us. They knew we were underage, but they were selling it to us anyway. Right, because in the overall, as long as you're not driving and doing stupid shit, it's it's not no big deal for the teenagers to have some beers. I yeah, like- I let my I, I get beer from my for Zach sometimes. Yeah, as long as you're not driving, is the that would probably be the only concern yeah. I would have. That's the only concern I have. I'm just like, dude, just don't drink and drive. And whatever, but see, when you drink, where do you lose control of that? I'm, I'm so drunk. I'll drive. I don't even know. Yeah, I'm I in, don't know, dude. I, I don't understand it. I, I can't believe. Yeah. I don't get it. It just, I don't get it. It's, it's a very selfish thing to do. Oh, you okay? Well, not a lot of people see it that way, Moose. But yeah, I, I, st- I tend to agree with that. Cause, probably because of the smoking. You know, the hash is so. Um, it doesn't impair your physical at all. You got you know, you can pick up a glass and drink it and right, smoke right, and all. Right. After a couple of shots of Jack Daniels, I'm a little sloppy and oh, yeah. drop things. And you so, know it. well, there you go. But the one that's illegal. <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense. It's it's back ass words. The it's one funny. that causes all the physical damage is legal, and the one that helps you. It's, right. I mean, I, it's crazy. I mean, it's people. Still do it. I I don't understand, but I mean, nowadays, I mean, depending on where you live, like I'm lucky enough to live in a town that has Uber and Lyft and cabs, <laughs> taxi cabs. So you know, and then I have sons that are driving age. So yeah, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. like tonight, Matt could give me a ride, and then I take Uber or Lyft home or a cab. Smart. That's what I do. Well, that's see. Well, I'm not. I, yeah. That's so much better than damn taking a car and getting out of control and driving it because you, yes. you can't be in. That's the whole point of alcohol. How can you make a decision drunk? What kind of exactly. stupidity? Exactly. Just the stupidity and of assuming. The thing about this 
Flash is for me <laughs> the big turning point for me because in my younger days, I admit I did stupid stuff, you know, and Who didn't? drove Come a couple on. times yeah. or something when I shouldn't have been. Ooh. Oh. But this was before I had kids. Yeah. yeah. So once I became a parent, oh. I was like, okay, I'm not doing this ever again. For one wow. thing, I can't afford it because it's expensive. For the other thing, I, I can't be that selfish. And I'm a mom, and it's like it just didn't it didn't didn't jive. You know what I mean? No, because so I look at the drinking. The thing to say though is you can't waver. You have to make the decision that you're never going to do it again. You know what I mean? No. Huh. And you never waver. You you never just take a chance one time. You know what I mean? Nah. You just you always stick to that plan. You know. I don't think I could do something like that. What? Stick to a plan. No, it's, it's not even a plan. It's Sounds just a like, decision. It's not even a no, plan. It's not a decision. decision, Moose. No, no, we'll have none of that. It's this, a decision. She wants me to make yourself. a decision, oh, sir. Help, oh, help. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. See, and, and I've got this opposite from that don't belief. Do it. And the way I see it is my decisions are made for me. I just got to recognize what, you know, what I'm willing to uh, accept no, or not. that's not true at all. I'm telling you how I see it, it not how you true. see it. You make decisions every day. You decide every day you make a decision. When you open your eyes in the morning, yeah. you make a decision to get out of bed. Oh, that right? that's mundane that's nonsense. That's making a decision. It's, it's immaterial. It's not and like... That's making a decision, though. Uh, yeah, okay. You know? It's, yeah. So you make decisions Technical, all day. You can uh, deny it all you want, but you do. It's not the, like sa- the rest of us do. It's not the same area of it life is. I'm talking about. To well, you, it, it is. it doesn't matter. It's still a decision. Okay. This is where it matters is my opinion is not for other people to agree with. Or An to opinion is different with. than a dec- right. making a decision. Okay. Yes, they're not it, the it, same thing. Yeah, they are. Sure. No, they're not. Sure. Having an opinion is not the same as making a decision. Maybe, no way. Maybe it is. No, it maybe isn't. Maybe I'm I'm deciding. No, it does. It's I'm, not. I'm deciding it is, and therefore you can't say, do that. I you can, can do that, but you're fooling yourself. Then. It doesn't matter what what I do or what <laughs> I don't do or who I exactly and care. Okay, I, but caring I'm about it, what other people think. I'm just saying I don't think you're correct. I don't care, okay. but I don't really <laughs> care what anybody thinks about what That's I good. think. Doesn't matter. What the fuck I think doesn't change anything. It's just right. what I think. True. So Very true. what the fuck is the arguing part come in? I don't know. You tell I don't, me. I don't really care about the whole thing in the first place. <laughs> I've Man, if I had my way, I'd disavow the fucking clock. And I'd stop all these fucking groups of fucking religious and education <laughs> and fucking government. But right. but people are not reasonable. They they can't be reached anymore. They need their fucking security blanket in life because they're gonna get old and sick and die. Well, I thought you don't care about them. I don't. You don't give a shit. So why I don't. why even talk about it then? Because we're doing a radio po- podcast. I know, but you the say door- it all the time. Well, so then don't listen. I'm just saying. No, it's not. Don't listen. It's just it's the way it is. You know what I mean? You have to at some point. You have to. I think that you have to become accepting and just realize it. Realize what? Go on, go on with life because it, 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 it's a waste of time. What is? To like worry about other people or be concerned about them. Yeah. You know, because why should you? I mean, I don't you know? think we do. I think it's a bunch of bullshit. That's the I whole mean, point. I mean, I will come to the assistance of the. To a human, if you can see them, or an animal, yeah, if you can can see them, humans and animals when they need help. Not online, you're not going to do it. There's only so much you can do, though. Oh yeah, and then you got that nasty law bullshit in the middle too, because people can sue you if something goes wrong and you're not licensed by the state. There's states that have laws to protect the. The person that got injured from the person trying to help them. So in the long run, you're wow. If you don't have training, you're better off leaving people the fuck alone and making it available. I think that's changed, to though. I think they have um, where <laughs> Good Samaritan law or something. Oh, now. okay. Well, that where would change not, from place not, to place. In certain cir- circumstances, I guess. You know what I mean? I don't know exactly the ins and outs of it or whatever, but 
I've heard, you know, I think that is, is in place. Yeah, the other day, Vinny was telling me on the uh, 20% that in America, you have a duty by law to protect the other guy from attack. And if I was home, I would I would willingly help somebody that was obviously being attacked. I wouldn't walk away from a thing like that. But I didn't yeah. really know there was a, a legal duty to it. And it, it's not enforced. It's one of those things that they just look the other way. It's not spoken about, blah, blah, blah. But the more, the more we get into the enforcement of law, the less the law wants us to interfere in what they're doing. So you're better off depending on the level of law enforcement where you live to stay the fuck out of it, period, because they shoot and they kill animals. They're crazy. Hell, they, people call the damn 911 about something and end up getting killed in, on their by their self. You did a story on that on the Freakers yeah. Ball. So, you know, it's... Over here, it would be in, it would be the most bizarre thing that ever fucking happened. And where yeah. I'm from, it's common for people to be shot by the police, shot dead. And nothing really substantial ever comes of it. They just drag it out in court as long as you can, pay somebody off, and do some more. Now it's common. What are you going to do? SCOTUS ruled that police have no duty to protect the citizen. So now these people are killing the citizenry and they get paid vacations and they get time, you know, they get uh, retired early for it. They get, they get rewarded for murder. I can't find any other way to explain it in my opinion, but that's what I see. So, ooh, and when Mary found, when it hit her, when it was in her neighborhood, you know, somebody that her kid grew up with that got killed was uh she was not teary-eyed but she was emotional through that because she knew the kid and it changed her perspective on the police great big time I, I still remember it like it was yesterday are we done arguing moose or what come on fight with me fight 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 no hmm. Hmm. i managed all by myself i must be the the fighter of the year, because I managed to silence both Moose Girl and Mr. Vinny at the same time at the, on the same show. <laughs> I'm being ignored by my co-hostages today on the dork table. Oops, at I was the, muted. I didn't know. I'm saying you didn't. Uh, you didn't. Uh, at the end of the show here. Quiet me. Oh, good. Well, argument. come on. We're yeah. supposed to argue about something. Come on, fight, fight, well, fight, 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 fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shut up. Damn, <laughs> well, the the whole point of all that crap was just it really doesn't matter. It matters to your friendship, but it doesn't oh, matter. You know what we I, think of each other. That's yes, as far that's, as that argument, that's just you, something to talk you, about. Well, listening to you but, get your ass whooped all over. Oh, all right, come over. to Denmark, Vincent. We'll go down to the yeah. Uh, get, I got. Uh, uh, I'm taking. I'm taking Moose Girl with me if I go. Where? Where? The to go whoop his ass. Yeah, come come up here and oh, visit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can join you. Whoa, I, yeah, I can I get join you. This. Yeah. And then yeah. Circle, she'll jump in too. <laughs> Probably. Oh, okay. We'll we'll, we'll see we about gonna, that. We're gonna spank your bottom boy. Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be cool though to to uh, but to not likely. By the three of us. Yeah, <laughs> but you need There's, a you need a passport to no, do it. We just, we're not really going to do it. I know that. But you get, you need a passport to really do it, you know, within the yeah. confines of our freedom and bullshit. Is it, so. is it no time for Brooklyn? Did it come to me? I don't know. You no tell time me. For Brooklyn. No time for Brooklyn. I have no freaking idea. That Vinny it, is on a rant, uh, I think. Listen. Let's let, see if we can. Let's, let's on, shush. Man. Let's. Uh, uh, it's no no sleep till mm. Brooklyn. I knew I'd come to mm. from the Beastie Boys. Isn't that? Uh, Ooh. You like the Beastie Boys? No. I do. Yeah. No, I'll pass. Yeah. I'm gonna do it after our broadcast. No <laughs> sleep till Brooklyn. That's the one. That, yeah. I was trying to think of the name. Remember? <laughs> remember? 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 The fifth of November. <laughs> Different countries have different crap for different holidays. But ha has Trump said anything exciting lately 
since the um, calling himself the king of the Jews and the chosen one. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, it was priceless, Moose. Oh, I this. know. People here were telling me that. I had to go look it up on the internet because I hadn't seen it yet. And they're going out of their way to tell me in English that my president is a freaking hand hand job. So, you know, and I, I don't support him, so it, it's easy for me to deal with. But good Lord, could you imagine... If I was a Republican <laughs> living here in Denmark <laughs> after Trump just got done making hamburger out of everything, <laughs> never mind. I guess you don't you don't follow the the gist here, no. So we got six minutes left. Well, then say goodbye, Edith. <laughs> he still he still tried to buy Greenland. <laughs> And when they wouldn't meet with him to talk about it, he canceled the damn thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> wait a minute. Well, Thank you. The queen invited him, but the prime minister was looking for ways to stop it. And she was really nice about the answer back and then su suggested that he su uh, invest in solar and wind projects <laughs> instead of buying Greenland. <laughs> so... Hmm. Wow, I guess it's I'm the only one that's getting a giggle out of old Donald right now. But Did you you want to get a giggle? I, I saw I saw a post a picture of a uh, uh, where you could plug in your electric car and it had a generator powered by diesel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It's ridiculous. I mean, come on, we're being screwed. Why don't they just use water? There's a carburetor that's designed to use water. The government keeps buying it up and burying it. And killing whoever invented it. So, well, to, be, to be fair, it separates hydrogen from the water. That however hydrogen. you explain it, Vincent, doesn't matter. The point is, we're doing what we're doing because we're held hostage by a freaking system that is insane. <laughs> These people you know about, running it. Everything you know about, crazy. You know about Hawk Guberzilla's project with his batteries and how that those are used then to be. Uh, separating the uh, the hydrogen out of the water to fuel water. You're I, laughing. Yeah. <coughs> oh, he's coughing. He wasn't laughing. I was you know reading that. Hansberger when you were asking me that question. Oh. Yeah, I've, re I've read a little bit of Goober's stuff. It's a little technical because he really does shit with batteries. So the, the tech, tar tech, tar jar tech tard jargon is above me, but I get the gist of what he's doing. You know, so good. But I've suggested ways for him to get money to fund it, and he thinks I'm joking. He doesn't take it seriously, so it's on him. The best suggestion for me. Billionaires right? out there that fucking give you grants, you pay them back later. Take a grant for ten ten million dollars for twelve, you know, twelve years, and uh, you get there. They either get their money back or they get a finished result of what you promise them, something like that, and they they give you money. So you get a list where we can find these people. They're billionaires. They're fucking Bill Gates, um, Warren Buffett. Good God, there's a, how many of there's lists of these fucking guys out there, and they're all greedy as fucking slobs too. So, so you know, you promise them a return in ten years or twelve years, they're gonna slobber all over it. If you were a billionaire, would you give a? Give your it's money? a fucking game. If you're a billionaire, who? Why would you give a fuck about anything? Come on. It would all be a big joke at that point because you have access to whatever pleases you. It's not really, even a real life. It's nonsense. I really feel like this is a non sequitur, sir. It's all a matter of, you know, perspective and my personal opinion about how I see it, Vincent. So I can see it however yeah, I here. like. Yeah. No, he's uh, not. I don't know. He's logged in, but he's not talking. Oh, he's probably not chatting. It's gonna hit. It might hit South Carolina now. Uh oh. Who? Dorian. Dorian. No, who were you talking about? Anti. 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 Oh, okay. W. Yeah. E, uh, w. Mm, I don't see him. No, he's I don't see him neither. But well, uh, anyway, yeah. all you people down there that are in that path of that storm, just yeah. be safe. Do what you can do. Yeah. If they yeah. say board up windows, board them up. It'll protect yep. you. <laughs> I was yeah. laughed at for, for doing it, but my, my windows didn't get smashed in. Lost a bit of a roof over the kitchen, but not the windows. Oh, I'm so good. Anyway. I was bragging there about my history uh, on the dork table. 
So uh, you want to do the, the uh, what's coming up, Vince? Okay. Well, this has uh, been the table here. Oh, hey, the- wait. Hey, thanks, Vince, and thanks, Moose, for coming along and let yeah. me insult and harass you at the dark table like a big dork. Because yeah. I had fun playing around, so don't take any of it too seriously, and just you know, I, have an I've opinion heard- or two. Have fun with it. Good guy. I saw- on the radio, so I'm all good. Pow! You want another one in chat? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And dig deep and give Grimm some money so he can run Real Liberty Media if you like the shit we do on the dork table. There you go. Yeah, you'll find the, you'll find the donate link, if, uh, especially if you're a part of Real Liberty Media right here and would like to help proliferate the vision. The provision, as I call it, came to call it today. Right here at Real Liberty Media, RLMRadio.xyz. This has been the Dork Table today with Moose Girl and Flash Somebody and me today as Vinny Vision, the uh, provision, provision of uh, such things that we talked about today. And yep. tomorrow, come on along, we're going to be playing blues and fast fingered games of trivia right here beginning at noon o'clock on the Eastern Seaboard. Right here, Real Liberty Media. Grimner plays some blues, and we're playing trivia. If you got fast fingers, come on along. Have some. Followed by Hal Anthony at 3 o'clock Eastern Time, or as we like to say it, noon o'clock. And I like to call it on the left coast. Hal Anthony from behind the woodshed. Monday, we come back for some Grim Leftovers with Grim near right about 7 p.m. Come on along. Some yum-yum fun for sure. Back again on Tuesday would be some contrast in the occupation in a perfect world at some point in time. And then it's shifted to go up to South Carolina now. Um, the time, yeah. the time, but it's a big state, too. So, yeah, I, yeah. Wow. I don't know exactly where he's at, but uh, hmm. all right. I think he's on the coast, though, or he's at least on an island or something. Yeah, I guess I do yeah. know where he's at then. Yeah, would be around. There's a. Um, South Carolina, there's, there's a city they used to go to all the time. I can't think of this damn name of it. Well, thanks for listening, folks. Check this get <sighs> the rest of the shows right here at Real Liberty. Yep. Real thanks, Liberty. everyone. Appreciate it, guys. Hello. Oh, you're thanks. welcome. Stay out of trouble. Ah. Oh, yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, I'm See jumping you. off here then. Hey, bye. bye, everybody.